Hi there good people. Usually the business notebooks we get here in the studio can be spotted from a mile away regarding their overall styling and up on closer inspection of their spec sheets. This puppy right here is an entirely different story though. While its naming is the usual cryptic alphanumeric code for which you need special training by the manufacturer to decrypt, the HP Lightbook 845G10 can also be mistaken for a more mainstream oriented lifestyle notebook. This is also one of the first business notebooks we got our hands on coming with AMD's Ryzen 9 7940HS. A high performance CPU with an ace up its sleeves in the form of its very potent integrated GPU, the 780M. So sit down, relax and let me tell you why this sleek looking laptop might be one of the best options for the working class on the market right now. Alongside the aforementioned APU, our sample comes with 32 gigs of DDR5 5600 RAM, a 1 terabyte SSD and a high-end 120Hz QHD Plus screen. And all of this is wrapped in a subtle but pleasing looking aluminium shell that is not only very fingerprint resistant, but hardly bends or creaks at all either. The HP is a bit on the heavier side compared to similar business focused notebooks, but with 1.5 kg it should still be well within margin, especially since it comes in a few millimeters below the competition in terms of chassis thickness. Connectivity is top notch and a lot of other brands should take note here. On the left you can find two versatile USB 4s, a single USB A 3.2 Gen 1, HDMI 2.0 and a smart card reader. On the opposite side, HP added another USB-A, the SIM slot for the integrated 5G modem and the audio combo port. The Lightbook can also score class-leading transfer rates in the wireless department in our Wi-Fi test. As it should be for a communication device, you will most likely use for the occasional Zoom or general web conference call, HP integrates a very decent 5 megapixel webcam with great overall sharpness and solid color accuracy. In the maintenance department, HP leaves no room for criticism once more. And alongside two SODEMs and one NVMe slot, the Wi-Fi module and the 5G card are exchangeable as well. The good news continue with the input options. And those are some very good news indeed, since this might be one of the best keyboards on the market right now. Key Traveler is almost luxurious with about 1.5mm, precise feedback and a very satisfying overall typing experience. The Class trackpad also works incredibly smooth and direct and in stark contrast to other manufacturers, even the clicks manage to convey a premium and satisfying feel. In typical business notebook fashion, the Lightbook can be yours with a few different display options. And ours is equipped with the higher-end QHD Plus panel. Despite some slightly visible halos on the upper edge of the display on dark backgrounds, we have nothing to complain about this specific panel. Our brightness numbers even exceed HP specs with above 560 nits on average and contrast is excellent for an IPS screen. Add in the wider than usual color gamuts and very good factory calibration and this one might even be interesting for folks working in visual professions, looking for a capable but very portable notebook. We have also not been able to detect any PWM and even response times are excellent given that we are not dealing with a gaming notebook here. But let's see if the inner qualities of the Lightbook can maintain the great overall impression we got thus far. Please be aware that our sample came only with a single stick of RAM, which is a bit of an odd decision since some performance, especially in the GPU department, might have been left on the table here. But we also ran some tests with two 16 gig sticks to get a better impression of any real world advantages, but more on that later in the video. On the CPU side of things, opting for the beefier 7940HS gives you a lot of general computing grunt, especially compared to the competition, utilizing low power chips almost across the board. The 8-core 16-thread CPU is juiced with a maximum of 51 watts peak and around 40 watts under sustained load, with very stable performance across all benchmarks. In our performance rating, even Intel's P-series chips are hardly able to keep up with the Lightbook, and you would have to step it up to a mainstream performance chip to beat the Ryzen in the small HP, which would also have to run at a much higher wattage. System performance is also excellent, and it seems like the less than ideal RAM config does not have a huge impact here overall. The Lightbook is an incredibly snappy system and even the NVMe SSD provides impressive numbers and can keep them up over the course of our torture tests without a problem. 
On the GPU side of things, our test netted us pretty good and also pretty disappointing results at the same time. In our 3 Mark rating, a combined score out of 3 Mark 11, Firestrike and Timespire results, this config of the HP can hardly even hold a candle against Intel's iGPUs, even though the 780M should theoretically be able to mop the floor with those. But as I teased earlier, the single channel RAM config is the main culprit here, since our retest with a dual channel setup netted us an insane performance increase of above 70%, easily decimating the Intel equipped competition. So if you want to get all the performance the silicon is capable of, you might either configure it with two RAM sticks to begin with or upgrade to dual channel memory yourself right away. If you want to use this puppy for some after work virtual entertainment, this applies as well. In our 1080p gaming rating, going from single to dual channel RAM once more netted us a performance increase of 50% in our benchmarks, which should give you a smooth gaming experience up to 1080p with medium to high settings. As for the config in my hands right here now, well, you would have to take things down to low or medium settings to get somewhat playable frame rates. All of those sweet performance numbers have one significant drawback though, and that is fan noise. Combining a single fan and a CPU that can draw up to 35 watts, even in its most efficient power profile, results in pulsing fans whenever you do something remotely taxing for the silicon. So as always in life, you would have to pick your poison. That said, during light tasks, the HP remains very silent throughout and to give you a subjective impression of what to expect, we took some noise samples for you. Battery life tells a similar story, due to the bright and power-hungry QHD panel. Then again, almost 8 hours in our Wi-Fi test aren't bad per se, and if you want to boost your time away from the wall, there's always the option to downgrade to a 1080p panel. Alright folks, it's about time to wrap this up for today. While I mostly deal with gaming or lifestyle laptops on the channel for now, this one appeals even to me, and I can totally get behind my website colleagues who named the HP one of the best business notebooks you can find right now. And I would even go as far as to say it's a great overall computing companion for everyone looking for a well-performing do-it-all notebook with great maintenance options, extensive I.O. and a great screen even for creators all packed in a subtle and very durable chassis. You will have to make some sacrifices though regarding fan noise and battery life. And if you want to unlock the full performance potential, upgrading to dual channel RAM is a must. But overall, we can wholeheartedly recommend the Lightbook. But please folks, let me know what you think about this one. Do not hesitate to leave your like if you feel informed and entertained and make sure to subscribe on your way out. That should be it for today. Thanks a ton for watching, my name is Alex, you have been awesome and I cannot wait to see you all in the next one. Take care.